guys, it's Marissa. I know it's been a while. Um, I wanted to show some things that I recently found. Well, not recently, but about a week ago. Um, I think I'm a little tardy to the party on Dollar Tree. Because when I go to Dollar Tree, I just run in real quick and get like a few things that I know that are there that I always get. And I had a chance to actually walk around. Um, I do watch some big YouTubers that do like specifically just Dollar Tree hauls. And so I saw some stuff. I was like, eh, let's just go see. So I went to go look and I found um, some fun stuff. It's probably stuff you've already seen. Um, and then I also ordered, oh, some stuff from Target. And then I think something I ordered online. Um, I'm waiting for uh, something from Pretty Little Studio. I was hoping to show you guys, but um, it's not here yet. So Let's start with Dollar Tree. I didn't go for any of like this stuff, but um, I just happened to find, like they always have cutesy, like Halloween. I'm not really into Halloween, but um, Christmas, like they just always have like really cutesy decor for like holidays, but I've never seen anything like this. I posted it on my Instagram. This is like really thick and it's so like Hobby Lobby looking, isn't it? A dollar, a dollar. So at first I think I only found like these, or no, these two. And then I was like, I wonder if there's another one. And I dug and I found it and they're so cute and they stand up. Um, I've been looking for a piece for my dining room, like a hutch buffet looking. And I found it at Costco and it's just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted it there, on there. Um, so I'm so excited. It's so big. I can decorate it. Um, for holidays. So anyways, I just wanted to show that if you like this kind of stuff, it's there. Uh, oh, and then I also found, um, oops, when I married my husband, I've always been like obsessed with getting like M's for like my first name and my old last name start with an M too. Um, so I always like get A's. I, I, um, have a wall that I've kind of going to start with like different fonts of A's and anyway so I just found this <laughs> all of that was leading up to this but again it's like a ceramic and it's just like something I feel like I'd find at Hobby Lobby so I got an A for my last name um yeah so I just wanted to show that that they can actually have like cute decor not that their decor is not cute but you know what I mean like more um I don't know more like that so the next thing I found, oops, sorry, were rub-ons, and I just had no idea. Um, I've seen online people show, like, their art aisles, and I have a lot of Dollar Trees, like, within, like, a good range of, of not going too far for driving. Um, and a couple of them still have, like, the crappy aisle, but then there is one that totally looks like it's a craft store, and that's where I found um, these. I wish I would have, I saw the girl show these. I think the girl that I watch... <laughs> Like I can talk. She buys a lot of stuff, but like I think she just buys it for the videos. I know that's horrible. Maybe she does use it, but there's no way in heck that somebody could use like 10 different pen, like the same pen in 10 different colors, like a tote bag. And you know what I mean? Like sometimes I think people just like get it for content, but hey, if she uses it, that's great. So I show, I, I saw her show this. I don't know. Maybe she uses this kind of stuff, but anyways, I don't know where I was going. With that but I was hoping I would find another one it's very Tim Holtz esque so I got this one on um, this one I was kind of like eh but I still got it like I'm not really into like I like dogs but not not like not these kind of animals but I have is there a squirrel because maybe that's why I got it no there's not but like the raccoons and like the fox I don't really like it but I like all of the florals so I got this one um, and I got two of these because I really, really like, like putting these in the corners of my journal pages. Um, and this, I, when there's a big area like this, I usually will just like scratch half of it for like, you know, layering in the back of a um, art journal page or something. I don't like go and make words, you know, with it. Um, so I got two of those because I found two. And then this one, um, I don't really buy a lot of cactus stuff, but I like the do I love doodly looking things, so I thought that these were cute here, and then Mila can can use those. So I was really excited to find. Again, I'm probably, uh, you know, I'm not the first one to find those. 
Um, and then I always look in the wall stickers because I use those a lot in my art journal pages. And so I found this butterfly. And usually when I get butterflies, um, um, I like them for wings, like behind any like images of women or anything that I cut out of my magazines. Um, I've never been, you know, really drawn to butterflies, but after my um, thyroid cancer and having my thyroid taken out, I don't know if you know, but that's like the um, symbol for thyroid cancer because your butter, your butterfly, your thyroid is shaped like a butterfly. Um, so in my past life, I was going to get like, a, I wanted to get like a little tattoo, like a teeny one of that. And then like maybe a puzzle piece for my kids with autism. But my new husband is not keen of tattoos, so that won't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, I got that one. And then I really, really like this one. Um, probably because of the blue. But yeah, I just thought, and I mean, I could still use them, not just as wings, but that's usually what I get them for so again these are the wall and Mila's gotten these kind of wall things and they don't really if you have textured walls these don't stick at all because they had like really cute laundry which I guess I could put it on a piece of wood and hang it but like that laundry those laundry stickers would not stick on my laundry room wall um and then this one was just kind of like an impulse because I thought I could put it in my craft room somewhere like I have some blank spaces but again it's not going to really stick so we shall see um, and then I found these squeeze bottles, and I have so many of these kinds of things, but I just got it because, I don't know, I always think like, oh, I can throw paint in it or something like that. So I grabbed those, and it's a really good price. Um, Double-sided tape. I don't use this a lot, but if I uh, want something to stick a lot better, like, I'll, I don't even know if this would be strong enough, but um, I usually just, like, this is, this is the glue I use in my collage books. Um, but if I wanted to put something on a cover, you know, so I got this one. I don't know what the length or what the size is. Um, these, I use these to hold my journal, my journal together. I have a couple of these, um, but I saw these because sometimes I wish I had, like sometimes if my book's really thick, I don't know how much this would open, but this would be good just to like clamp on the sides and you get six of them for a dollar. Um, and then they had a whole bunch of washi, but the only one I got was, I'll just show this way here, was just this like navy blue with the little polka dots and then this um, floral one. And then you're probably going to go, what the heck is that? Oh, wait. Oh, and then this. I have like the name brand one, but I just thought I'd pick up another one of these. You have to be careful. This doesn't always work on everything, um, like as in it could ruin a surface. <laughs> um and this, not because I'm going to put patties in between this, but this is basically just like tissue paper or, or wax paper. And it'd be fun to layer, you know, behind a picture on a, I don't know, I, I kind of like that soft layering. So you get like a hundred in here and they're five by five and a half or five and a half by five and a half. So I'm sure you can't stamp on them because them, like I said, they're wax, but I like them for layering. So I grabbed those. And then the last thing was this organized book. I just love the book section. This was like a mom's organizing. Oh, you know what? My husband's home, so the dogs are going to go crazy. Hold on. Okay, sorry, you guys. Let's get through this before my dogs. I had to lock them out. But the good news, if you've been following me for a while or watching me, my dogs actually can be down in the same room together. So Benny's allowed to walk around now with Coco, so it's it's nice. Anyways, okay, so the next place I went, oh yeah, so the organized book was the last thing I showed you. Then I went to Target. I always pick these up when I need them. I don't just pick them up to pick them up, um, but they're only $2, um, and they're, they come in like pink, I think, gray and white, but the reason I like these is, is, is if you need to put them in a drawer and it's kind of tight, like they, you know, you, you know what I mean? You can kind of like squeeze them in. <laughs> Um, so I got a couple of those for some drawers that I'm doing in my room. Um, got this, I always like pretty napkins just because, so I got these. Um, I, I put them in my journals. They have a lot of, um, American craft stuff there. This was only $1.99. I was kind of iffy because, you know, I don't really like gold, but you get, I think, four pieces in here and it was only $2, but they had really cute sticker kind of books. 
but they were six dollars and sorry target no um the dollar spot i found these metal rings i was hoping to find different colors um usually when i make little books or um let me show you i use silver actually i don't know why i'm showing you this but um you know like i made this for my um inks anyway so it hangs on the side or one of my inks so it's just the binder rings, but they're blue, so I thought that'd be a, a cute book. These I have bought before. Oh my gosh, Benny. These I have bought before. They're adhesive square, little pockets. Um, and just so you know, it this comes off so it's clear, so there won't be any white on the back. And I slip all kinds of things. I used to do these like in my project life um, and in, in my traveler's notebooks also. Oh my gosh, this dog is trying to get in. I'm sorry. And then these right here, they're just name tags in four different colors and they're just cute like sticker journaling spots. Um, and then this, I was, it was this pink that got me, but I saw that these, these were only a dollar and it's obviously like ABCs, but I just like the colors and I don't know, I just thought if I was doing a page, you know, about something in particular, like I could cut out the images, but you know, it could even be a flip a flip out kind of thing and you could journal in the back so I really like the colors um, so that is what I got at Target um, I also went to um, Ross to pick up some uh, something what was I going for oh, I forgot what I was going for but um, a couple weeks ago I found the illustrated faith stuff and I don't think this was there this is called childlike faith and it's just $1.99 uh, um, I doubt that I would use those little kids, but I liked the words, um, and of course, the labels, the flags, love the hearts. They always have cute, like, wide, wonky-looking hearts. Um, so yeah, I just really like the colors. Um, so this is a sticker booklet, and then I happened to find the paper pack. Um, and remember, the paper pack comes with um, two of these, actually. So here's the 6 by 12 sticker sheet and um I just thought they were pretty patterns like I said I doubt I would use like the little kid ones um but yeah so and these are only $2.99 so got that and then I forgot that I'd ordered um from Peachy Cheap which I don't really order from um it was the sweet story Maggie Holmes is one of my favorite I've been using crepe paper since I first started scrapbooking um, you know, so I have like their very first line that came out still, but what I'm finding is that her stuff is getting really repetitive. Um, you know, I feel like we have seen the colors, the designs, I feel like we've seen it all before. Um, you know, and if not by her, then another designer. Um, but I know Fresh Bouquet came out, but I'm, again, I just feel like it's flower overload. So I did get this, it came with, I never use these, I still have from all the collections, but like if I got from Peachy Cheap, I don't know what I would do with these. So I, but it came with that, came with the puffy stickers. Um, you know, I wish it had the ephemera. Sometimes it'll be like the ephemera or the sticker book, you know, so this time it was a sticker book and it was cute enough that I decided to get it. Um, but yeah, usually I, um, skip on peachy cheap, but I, I like that I have all of these little words too. Um, just because when I get a collection, I don't buy the whole collection because I won't use all of it. So I just like to get the pieces, you know, that I want, but this was, I think it was like, I don't know, $14. So this I'll pass on to somebody else. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm just really been trying to clean my room joanne is coming next weekend um to spend a weekend with me our crop unfortunately got canceled because of the uh pandemic so um we got our money back but she's gonna stay over my house for the weekend we're gonna have a crafty slumber party craft eat shop um so i've been trying to clean up my room um we probably won't hang out in here but i really what i've really been doing is cutting and going through all of my um collage pieces because um you know I'm, I'm just like all the pages that I 
tore out, I'm just cutting, you know, the little pieces and like these are all circles that I've cut out of papers and my strips of paper. So I've been kind of just watching a lot of TV um, in my craft room and cutting, but I am still working on this book right here. I do collage every night. Um, you know, I think I showed, I think I showed you guys, you know, it's, um, it's a work in progress, but you know, it's just something, you know, it's, it's just something fun for me to do because I love cutting and gluing. So, um, let me see. I, oh, I, well, I finished this one last night. So yeah, um, that's all I'm pr pretty much doing. When she comes, I think I'm going to work on my traveler's notebooks maybe some junk journals. Um, and I actually took out this die because I'm gonna make um, a mini book with the, I shared this a long time, or not a long time ago, but from Studio Light, the art by Marlene, um, the little like notebook or the journal that it makes. So um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna use up a lot of my papers and probably put one of these together and work on it while Joanne's here. Okay. That's it. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you, or I'll leave any links like I always do. I don't think there's any links. I think you all know Peachy Cheap and Target. But yeah, um, any questions or anything, leave them down below. I try to answer everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.